friends, it's Jupiter Sun Gal 2, your favorite YouTuber and the only one you know personally. Um, so this is exciting. I got tagged by my pen pal, Miss Kawaii Girl 1000, for the 2013 YouTube survey. You can see her video for it, like right over here or something. I'll put it somewhere. I'll put it somewhere. Um, but this is so exciting. I've never been tagged before, so I just want to make this. It's so exciting. I'm so pumped. Anyways, yeah, this is just five questions that I need to answer and stuff. Okay, so the first question, number one. What is your greatest fear? <sighs> this is so weird. I'm not even allergic to them, but I am terrified of bees. Like, not even just like the, ah, it's a bee, I should stay away kind of fear. Like, if there's a bee, I will clench up, freeze, and will, I won't move until I know that that thing is gone. <laughs> it's so weird, but I think it started when, um... At the beginning of sixth grade, we were all walking around the track, um, through the field and stuff, and then I was just like, oh, I'll be so cool, I'll let the bees all land on me and walk around because I'm so cool like that, and I'm not even scared of anything. So I let them walk around on me, and then one of my friends, you know who you are, mm -hmm. decided to run up behind me and scare me, and it freaked me out so much because I was just like, if I jump, then the bee will sting me, so... I jumped and I ran as fast as I could. I didn't even get stung, and it still created some psychological thing in my mind that said, bees are evil, don't go near them. It, like, I had to leave a party once, not mo mostly because I was too awkward to ask for food, but also because there were bees there, and I, I was just terrified of them. And it also rained, but who cares? <laughs> Anyways, question number two. I advise you people, I advise you to click off um, headphones, earmuffs, whenever I will tell you when to um, unplug your ears. Because this is a topic, because a lot of my people that watch this are kids. So anyways, question number two is, when did you find out Santa wasn't real? Well, I don't really do a lot of Christmassy stuff, because um, I'm an atheist, so, but, I mean, my family does the whole Christmas thing. Usually, like, we do the whole Santa and presents and stuff. They told me a while back I was, like, young. I don't know. I just asked, and they told me. So, but either way, um, I don't do a lot of Christmassy stuff, but either, yeah, I was just a, maybe a couple years ago, and it freaked me out, but I, I'm over it now. I just believe in the Christmas spirit, kids. Okay, you can unplug your ears now, so we're back. Okay, uh, question number three. I can't count. Three. Three. <laughs> the best idea I've ever had. I think the best idea I've ever had was starting a YouTube channel. And I think it was kind of struck in my mind ever since I was like a little baby child. Because I grew up with my cousin Beck, who is awesome. I love you, Beck. You are the best. He was, yeah, I like basically grew up with my cousin and we lived really close to each other. And I would go over to his house all the time, and he loved video games, and he watched people like Chugga Conroy. And I was like, oh, cool, I'll watch those too, because he, he was older than me, so we were like, I was, he was like my role model, and it was awesome. It's probably one of the reasons why I'm super awkward and love video games today. Um, but, yeah, I was, it was funny, because I actually pitched an idea to him, like when I was maybe eight or nine. I was just like... Hey, Beck, you're good at video games. I'm good at saying funny stuff. How about we do, like, a thing like Chuck Conroy, but, like, you do the video games and I do the talking. And he never got back to me on it. But I think one of, I think the greatest idea I've ever had is to start a YouTube channel because it's, like, the thing that I've always wanted to do. It's the, it's, it's, like, you know what one of my things that I've always wanted to do? Okay, ready? Number four. Whoa, four, four, four. Yeah, four. Four is a cool number. The most embarrassing, embarrassing, I can't speak today. I'm just like, it's so crazy. It's like I got sung by a bee. I did not. <laughs> the most embarrassing thing that my parents have ever done. Well, so I had a friend. I'm not naming names because this can get a bit embarrassing for the person involved. But I had a friend who I was like super best friends with in fifth grade. And her parents, <laughs> it was crazy, because I went over to her house once for a Halloween party, and we had the best time, and I was that one friend, you know, who, like, brought the stuff that you're not really, the kind of inappropriate stuff that made the party even more fun, because that's the kind of person I am, but, <laughs> so, their parents found out, and 
um, they assume that they're just like, oh, this girl's parents don't take care of them. And I'm like, well, that's not true. I know, because my parents love me, and I love them back. But, um, but then it was funny, because it got kind of into this flame war because between the girls, my, like, my friend's parents and my parents. Just like, oh, we know. It was kind of funny. We kind of nonchalantly just snuck in every once in a while. like, oh, yeah, we know you hate us, but we're actually good parents. So... Yeah, it kind of, it was kind of embarrassing to me, but it wasn't really because I kind of started the thing, and I keep restarting it, so, yeah. So it's not really them that's embarrassing, it's just me that kind of started an embarrassing thing, but, um, so they still kind of have a tiny rivalry, and I don't talk to that girl's parents anymore, like, it was, it was, it just like, it's weird every time I talk to her. Um, anyways, question number five, and the final question, wow! Um, if I could pick one career for the rest of my life, what would it be? It would be YouTube! Yes! This! What I'm doing right now, I want to do it for the rest of my life! <laughs> and I've wanted to do it for almost my whole life. And <laughs> it's really, it's really crazy, because, like, I see people, like, PewDiePie, way up in, like, the heat, like, he has more subscribers than the Super Bowl has people that watch it. It's just like, YouTube is becoming the new TV. And when I was little, I really wanted to be like a celebrity or a pop star or something. And then I realized, you know what, it's not fun being a celebrity. Like, at least like a TV celebrity. Because those people, like, they always, like, get into drugs and stuff. And their lives are not fun as they, they're like, they're like made out to be. And I was just like, well, this is dumb. I want to do something cool. I don't want to, like, be famous, like, surrounded by paparazzi all the time and just, like, having a sad life. It's just, I don't want to have to, like, hide my face before when I go to the supermarket because paparazzi and all that. I don't want to do that. I was just like, well, I don't want to do that. I mean, I would rather, and then, I would rather not. But then I went and discovered the little site called YouTube, and I watched all these people, and I was just like, well, you know, these people have pretty easy lives. I like this. I want this as my life. And I'm funny enough to do it, and I'm creative, and I am a computer master, so I guess I could do it. But, um, yeah, I think if YouTube wasn't my thing, I would I would definitely be into radio. Because we went to Young Ameritown in fifth grade, which is like a little tiny, it's like a little town with like businesses, and we each had our own jobs and stuff, and we ran for a day. It was so fun. And I was the manager at the radio station, not to brag or anything, but... Radio sounds like fun. I would take it as a challenge to see how long can I go? How many hours straight can I go just talking? I think I could go quite a while, although I failed at <laughs> I fail at live chats. If you guys want to see me do live chats, I can totally do that. I just need stuff to do. Anyways, but yeah, that is basically it. But yeah, radio would totally be my thing. I mean, Dan and Phil have their radio show. Did you see that, guys? They had it yesterday or whatever. Whenever I post this, I don't know when it is. They had it on sad Sunday. Sunday. And it was awesome. It was the first one I've ever seen, and it was awesome. You guys should watch it next week. I do believe, yep, yeah, it's time to go. So I will end this with a celebratory um, Jabba the Hutt song, or along with, with, along with just a bag of prints. You are the most beautiful of us. They call you Jabba the Hutt. They call you Jabba the Hutt. For a reason. Like, should I order the game online? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Should I order?